Today, I'd like to share with you how to live authentically where there's where all your inner world, where everything's going on, dude. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, my friends. What's going on, everybody? This is Luke Pico with IroncladConfidence.com. Coming to you guys today, my friends. Another amazing video. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. I hope you guys are rocking that world champions and always transforming that psychology, dude. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. So check it out, my friends. If you guys are new here to the YouTube channel, you guys, on this channel, we talk about all things personal development. We talk about all things self-awareness, and I share with you powerful, powerful insights when it comes to universal laws of attraction, when it comes to quantum physics, and I share with you how to use all these powerful universal principles and tools and laws to build the type of confidence that you want to build, baby. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, baby. And so if you think you want to entertain this information, you want to learn how to become more authentic, you want to learn how to become more real, you want to learn how to become more confident in your life, then consider subscribing, baby. Because today I'd like to share with you how to live authentically where there's where all your inner world, where everything's going on, dude. Because your inner world is where you experience everything. <laughs> a lot of people don't know this baby and so when I talk about some of the stuff that I'm gonna share with you guys there's gonna be a portion of you out there who have never heard this this type of information and when I share it with you you have to I need to explain to you what's happening so that you can understand why you may or may not reject certain content concepts that I share <laughs> Yeah, buddy. So here's the thing, dude. So all of us have formulated a way of believing our worldview of reality, okay? It's like a slide, okay? You have this slide that somebody has placed in front of your lens of reality, who you are, and how you view the world and how you think it should be and how you think it is. And I'm just somebody sharing with you what I've discovered, okay? And what I did is I removed the filter, I removed the old worldview that I had, because the old worldview that I had was like everyone else. I seen everything the same way everyone else seen it. And I started learning about powerful, powerful, deep insights when it comes to authenticity, when it comes to confidence building, when it comes to self-awareness. And I started to unlock how reality truly works. <laughs> okay, and so some of the stuff that I'm going to share with you, if you find yourself arguing with it, if you find yourself, nah, that stuff, ah, something about that guy, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know what it is, this and that, that guy was talking about, new age stuff, understand what's happening is I'm sh the information that I share is shining light on aspects of your psychology that are ignorant. That, that, in other words, like this is all of us, okay? You have parts of your mind that is real intelligent, you understand stuff, but there's other parts that you don't know exist that you're not aware of. And so when I start to share this truth with you, it's going to shine light on those parts that you've never really thought about. So it's going to make you think about what you've been thinking about, dude. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. And that right there can be a little, you know, it can make you mad. It can make you frustrated. It can make you say, oh, I just didn't like that guy. But those are all just filters. It's not has nothing to do with you didn't like that guy or you just didn't like what was being said. It has to do with you not understand, you actually having a little bit of fear because of what I'm sharing with you. A lot of people don't know that, dude. And so you don't have to believe everything that I say, but... Here's the thing. It doesn't mean it isn't true. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. And so, baby, let's dive into it. How to live authentic, how to live authentically 
where everything inside is real. See, you're, the way you live authentically, this is what I've learned. See, it's so hard to, to, to notice a very authentic person nowadays because so many people, you guys, are not really real people. And what I mean not really real, they're afraid to express who they really, really are inside. This is a lot of people. You go back about 20, 30, 40 years, there was less noise on the earth. It was still noisy, don't get me wrong, but there was less noise on the earth. There was more real world. People had their, 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 their rooted deep. They had their emotions, they had their the real, they had a little bit more of that animal side of them. It was just really raw and real, right? <laughs> They're come, coming out of the jungle, dude, so to speak. And so it was this way of authenticity that people, you know, they had. And I, ha I have a huge portion of that authenticity, meaning I don't, I don't care what people think of me. I'm, I'm authentic, I'm comfortable with who I am, I'm, I understand who I am, but see, it wasn't always that way. Because even though I knew that I had this authenticity inside of me, because of a lot of the drama that I went through growing up, a lot of the, a lot of the dysfunction, what that tends to do is it tends to put a cage over your emotions. And so what people do is they put up these artificial walls that supposedly protect them but and, and they can protect you it's called emotional armoring but that's a completely different uh video but you live inside a prison inside of yourself a prison of fear where you're afraid to to just be who you want to be say what you want to say right and some people will say well you shouldn't be able to say what you want to say and you shouldn't be able to be who you want to be but guess what dude the creator said that you can be whatever you want to be, right? <laughs> That's the freeness. That's what man has been given. They've been given the gift of free will to make a choice to become that type of person. Now, this could be used in the negative, but I'm only talking to the freaking Jedi's, dude. I'm only talking to the people who are going to use this information for the good, for the positive. You see what I'm saying here, dude? <laughs> Most people don't know that. And so here's the thing. This is what I mean. So we got to, you have an outer world and an inner world, okay? Most people are locked on to the outer world. They got to do this, they got to do that, they got to do all this stuff on the outside world, okay? And so what happens is, because we're, we're, we're physical creatures who live on the outer world, we don't pay attention to our inner game, our inner world, okay? And our inner world is where everything's happening inside see we see everything that's happening out there and we take in that information from the outside inside to us and then we experience that outside on the inside <laughs> yeah buddy that's freaking powerful dude and so when it comes to being authentic and living authentic it really has to do with being more original with who you are being more original with the type of character, the type of person, the type of personality, the type of beliefs, the type of attitude, the type of idiosyncrasies that you are, who you are, right? That's what gives you your, your, your unique signature, so to speak, to the universe, right? That's what draws people to you. See, when you're authentic, people are drawn to authentic people. People are drawn towards honest, real people. And a lot of times what people do is they live in these prisons that they've created for themselves. They become a victim in their own eyes. And they paint themselves as the victim. This is what people learn to do. And so they lose their authenticity because, see, when you paint yourself as a victim, guess what, dude? You don't get to express your soul, baby. <laughs> you don't get to express who you are. And the opposite, you become depressed, you become sad, you become in fear, you become full of anxiety, you become full of worry. Now, I'm not saying that means if you have those problems or those issues that you're somehow an unauthentic person, but we learn to bury ourselves under these layers of fear. 
layers of unworthiness. We bury ourselves in depression. We bury ourselves in self-doubt. We bury ourselves in all these lack-limiting mindsets, these beliefs. We bury ourselves in shame. We bury ourselves in guilt. We bury ourselves in uh, unworthiness and insecurity. This is what people do. And so you know what they do? They become numb. They have no real character. They have no real personality. They're not open like this. They don't got freeness of speech, dude. <laughs> yeah, buddy. They can't be authentic. See, when you're authentic, you can express freely who you are without resistance. That's powerful. But in order to do that, you have to know who you are on the inside. Because see, we experience everything on the inside. And this is why if you experience pain, not physical pain or anything like that, if you experience emotional pain, you experience it on the inside and then you hold on to it. You get emotionally wounded, right? You get emotionally, you know, more and more wounded. Next thing you know, you're just, you're sad and in depression and fear and you don't know who you are. You're not original, dude. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. This is the way it goes, baby. You go back into the day, you remember Mr. T? <laughs> Mr. T, right? He freaking shaved his head. He had a freaking mohawk and everything. Everyone thought he was nuts. Guess what, dude? Even though he was just doing a video, you know, on, on a, a TV program, he, was, he had an original to how he viewed himself, right? <laughs> Yeah, buddy. That's just an example. People do this all the time. People are living their life, doing what they're doing, but they're afraid to be authentic. See, I'm very comfortable with who I am. That's why I do these videos. Because before I could, before I wasn't really, un I was uncomfortable with who I am. Don't say much. Don't do much. Don't rock the boat. Don't say nothing that will offend people. Don't push any buttons. Don't speak the truth. Don't say this. Don't say that. And I was always questioning, why? 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 What are you scared of? What are you so scared of? Why, what is it that terrifies you that I, that you can't speak truth? What is it that terrifies you that, you know, I can't be happy, right? I can't, you know, wear a radical shirt like this, right? Because it's too radical, dude. Don't be too rad. See, when in reality, all this, all this is right here, it's just mathematical equations put into a certain dimension and project it onto the screen, which creates a highly motivated perception of reality, which in turn can scare people. Sounds ridiculous, right? <laughs> yeah, buddy. But all it really is is material, right? Just, just a picture, that's all it is. And this is, this is where people get trapped because they put so much attachment onto insecurity they attach themselves to insecurity they bury themselves inside just like you have an outside world you have an inner world you see and we experience this is where we experience everything inside this is all of us and so what people do the world is so clouded and distracted with information <laughs> The world is so clouded with information and distracted that it doesn't know that it can create a different reality. It doesn't know that it can build a different type of personality, right? They can become more comfortable with itself. And see, the more honest you are with yourself, the more comfortable you are with yourself, the more authentic you're gonna be in life. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, baby. You gotta understand something about what I'm sharing with you right now. You inhabit the inside world that you experience. Rewind, say it again, Luke. You inhabit, in a literal sense, the inner world that you experience. You live with yourself everywhere you go. You live with everything you feel. And you experience and inhabit that reality for yourself. And, and the outside world is always trying to control your attention. It's always trying to control your perception of reality. It doesn't want, the outside world doesn't want you to be authentic. 
In fact, when you're very original, when you're very authentic, you're very charismatic. You're very comfortable with who you are. And the outside world will hate you for being authentic and shining like that. Because it doesn't see a reflection of itself like that. Because it's not comfortable with itself like that. You see what I'm saying here, dude? <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. This is the way it goes, my friends. And so, how to live more authentically? You have to pay attention to your inner world. It's the inner world that matters. See, it's the inner world that we give meaning to. It's the inner world that we experience. It's the inner world that gives us the joy, the happiness, the confidence, the motivation, the inspiration that we want to be. So if you're not happy with who you are on the inside, you can't be happy. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, buddy. And here's what's amazing. You get to make, you're the one who interprets the meaning of your reality. No one else gets to interpret the meaning of your personal reality. See, you have, you have ultimate energy from the creator placed inside of you, keeping you alive. And you have the ability to judge yourself or not judge yourself. You have the ability to punish yourself or not punish yourself. You have the ability to interpret what you experience as good and bad. And then you have to decide who you want to be and who you want to live with. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. And that, my friends, is how to live authentically. Where the true you lives. Where the real experience takes place. See, that this is below the surface. Where the real influence takes place. And so for me, I had to learn to be more comfortable with who I am. I'm very comfortable with who I am. I'm not intimidated by anyone. I'm not intimidated. I, I, that may seem hard to believe, but I, 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 I'm not intimidated. Because when I come up to a person, I'm not coming up to a person to look at them to like, I don't know, who they think they are. Watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to one up on this fool. I'm gonna try to get something over on this guy. I'm gonna try to, you know, I'm not even looking at them that way because I already know how I look at myself. And I, if I look at myself with confidence, if I look at myself with courage, if I look at myself with charisma, dude, guess what? I'm cool, buddy. <laughs> I'm cool because I know who I am. So guess what? When I when I walk up to somebody and I'm just like. What's up, man? What's going on, dude? I'm just cool with them like that. And the second they they they, they give you an attitude or a like, like like that, immediately I'm like, oh, they're super insecure. They they're super insecure. They don't know who the hell they are. And so I'm just cool. I leave it alone. I, I back off. I'm cool. It's all it's all good, you know. <laughs> yeah, buddy. But that, my friends, is how to live authentically. You have to live from your heart in terms of who you are. See, when you look at a little kid, being a little kid, do you judge a little kid because a little kid is just having fun? Some people may, but you know, for me, come on, dude. Only a bully would do would judge a little kid like that. A little kid is just being a little kid. They're being authentic, they're being fun, they're enjoying themselves, and everyone loves it. And then you get a certain age, and it's like, ah, calm your charisma down. Calm your auth authenticity down. You're kind of annoying me. Stop being so charismatic. Stop being so happy. And, you know, and then, and, then, and then they try to bully you and dumb you down. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. And I was like, nope, I'm out of here. You can steal my thunder power, dude. I freaking know, because I got, I got the creator power, dude. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. And that, my friends, is how to live more authentically where the real experience takes place inside. But that's all I got for you guys today, my friends. Check it out, dude. If you guys are new here to the YouTube channel, you guys like this kind of information, you guys digging it, consider subscribing, baby. <laughs> consider smashing that like button and hitting the little bell notification if you wanna receive updates when I rock these videos, dude. But I do thank you guys, and I do look forward to talking to you champions again next time, baby. Peace. Boom, boom, boom.
<laughs> That's what we do, my friends. You want to become authentic? Dude, how do you feel right now? Just express it. Let it out. Stop holding on to it, right? Give yourself permission to get uncomfortable, to be who you really are, right? You know how many people wish they could just jump out and be who they are? <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Give yourself a reason to laugh at yourself without judging yourself or criticizing yourself and thinking you're dumb because you think they're going to think this and they're going to think that and they're going to think that. It's like, hey, so what? Who are the, who, who are the they? Who are they anyways? I don't know. <laughs> Boom.